What's going on, beautiful people? All my riders out there, my Kawasaki family. Yes, indeed. I got a special video for y'all today. We're not on the GoPro. We're not on the bike. We are actually checking out. And as you can see by the title, shout out to the homie Terry, man, um, that has that makes amazing content. I support his channel. I support what he's doing. I love other um, moto vloggers out there, people that share their experience on their bikes. I really do appreciate this community, man, the, the biking community. It's nothing but a, a bunch of amazing people from all around the world that own all kind of bikes. And me being a Ninja uh, 400 owner uh, for the past couple of months, um, I can I can I can kind of say I've, I've been scammed and in this type of deal, you know, when buying a new motorcycle. So the question of the day is, would you spend 10,000 to 15, 20,000 on a 400 cc bike motorcycle? Would you spend over $10,000? This is the main question. Would you spend over $10,000 on a 400 cc bike? I can already see in some of you guys right now the way you're reacting, your face. Um, some of y'all are cursing. Oh, wait. I wouldn't spend that. <laughs> I already know. And then there's some of y'all. It just again um, out the door for my Ninja 400. And I'm. This was one reason why I'm making this video because, um, you know, I got hit with dealership fees, the freight, all kind of tax, all the the taxes. I got hit hard, and I didn't know. As a new buyer, uh, new to the biking community, new to how the the bike market is, um, I got hit with all kind of fees and stuff and i wish i would have did things but that's one reason why i am trading my ninja 400 um and i'm going with a zx6r i've already mastered my ninja 400 and uh he has he had a ninja 400 then he went and got the uh the zx4rr so um and again once you tune this thing it is it is, it is it's a blast um they have one at my dealership now up the street um that i was looking at but um, I think I'm going to spend my money, uh, my next, my, my, my money on a, on a, on a 600. Um, and I'm also looking at a, a Jixer and a R6 as well. But um, I just dropped a video on my Ninja 400 about ABS and stuff like that. So y'all can go check that out. But I want y'all to hear this, the, this, 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 the way his, his sound, man. <laughs> That sounds so good. And the four cylinder sounds so Check amazing. It. One thing I can say that one reason why I'm, I'm ready to, it's just the sound, man. The sound, once you get off of a, you know, a smaller bike and you get to these bigger bikes with the four cylinders and stuff, they just sound com just amazing, especially once you do that slip on exhaust and whatnot, tuning. It just sounds so amazing. But uh, look at this. this. This is what I want to show y'all. This video right here. Um, and I want y'all to comment down below, man. Have you been in the scam? Have you gotten scammed by your dealership or one of these uh, motorsport places out here? Um, hit you with all those fees because, man, it is crazy. I got hit with all those fees, man. But I want y'all to hear, uh, see this video real quick. I spent $15,513 on this bike, guys. $15,000 thousand dollars and then also 513 bucks as well so 15.5 and again this is a 400 cc bike but again it, it has the upgraded tech there's one thing you got to remember it has the upgraded technology you know it has the all the new things that come with on the newer ones it, it has all the upgraded technology it is a four cylinder, you know. So hey, on a four hundred cc bike, a lot of you've been losing your mind because of that. But let me explain. This bike sticker price was nine thousand seven hundred dollars, right? But with tax fees, freight, everything, because it's a brand new bike. When you buy a brand new bike, you have to pay the build fee, whatever. So it was eleven thousand seven hundred dollars. And that sounds about right. Again, I got hit with almost. And again, a Ninja 400 cost $5,000.
And then you can go on Facebook Marketplace and find them new for what? Or well, used for a good deal. A, a buddy local in your area selling his for what? Three, four thousand dollars. So, again, I, I just want to make this video to make other people aware. Um, because again, me being a beginner rider and owning multiple bikes now, um, I kind of wish I, I took my time. I was very impatient. Um, but I did listen to you guys in the comments that told me the R3 and the Ninja 400 are the best beginner motorcycles. And now that I've mastered the Ninja 400, um, I kind of want just a little more pep in my step. I do want a ZX6R, which is my dream bike, or the R6. And we're also looking at a Jixxer that I've really uh, loved because I got to ride my buddies. I've rode my buddies R6, and I've gotten to ride the uh, the Jixxer um, uh, 600. So... And uh, we've, we've also been looking at 750s, but um, I kind of wish I didn't, you know, throw my money away just rushing the process. So I, want, I want you guys to take your time, man. Please take your time when it comes to these bikes. They're not going anywhere. Please take your time. And to all my beginner riders out there, you're going to have fun. You're going to enjoy yourself. Be safe. Take your time. Uh, you know, decide what you want, you know, uh, do I, like I say, I watched thousands of content creators of different bikes, the R Yamaha, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Harley, you know what I'm saying? I own a Harley. I've went to the electric side of, of, of motorcycles, you know, I have electric, I have the gasoline type of deal, you know, and I fell in love with the clutch. Um, after taking my MSF course, I fell in love with the uh, with the clutch. I, I started. I, I learned how to ride a bike. Well, I wouldn't say I learned because I never knew how to clutch. <laughs> I didn't know how the clutch and stuff works and how to drive a regular bike until I took the course. Well, until I rode my buddy's R6. After I rode my buddy's R6, the next day I went and took my course, which was Saturday and Sunday. So after I so I don't recommend you guys get on an R6. And then go take the course the next day. But hey, my buddy told me um, to just get on and how everything works. I've watched videos. And again, my only experience was riding the Chinese electric motorcycles, the, the scooters type of deal. And I learned how to lean, how to, you know, maneuver a bike. But I never knew how to, you know, shift, you know, how the clutch works. So I learned all of that on a R6, a 2017 Yamaha R6. And then the next day I went and took my class and it was the, the, the best two days of my life um, at a Harley Davidson dealership. I took my MSF co uh, uh, course and got my motorcycle endorsement, uh, your motorcycle license. So like I tell you guys, man, go take the course first. Get a feel for uh, how the bike. I rode a CB300 on my, on my course with, uh, you know, when I took my course, I rode a CB300. And that bike felt amazing. It felt amazing. So go take your go take your course and take your time. Do some research. Um, be aware when you go inside these dealerships because they're now they're greedy, they're desperate, and they just want your money. So please do your research. But I'm gonna let him finish off the video. Out the door. That's after you know the tax and fees. But you guys know I traded in my Ninja 400. It was not paid off. I got scammed on it. I had so much negative equity that I put with that one on top of this one. So in total, guys, after I traded in my Ninja 400, I paid $15,513 finance for this bike with the negative equity of my old Ninja 400. So almost I spent. And I believe next month he is also getting a ZX10 RR. So, um. I'm I'm just happy to uh, see his his content doing well, and I believe he's you know he's probably making a he's probably making a good amount on YouTube with all the moto vlogs and stuff. He doesn't do crazy content that restrict uh, him from getting uh, paid on YouTube, and his channel's doing very well. So I'm pretty sure he's you know he's saving up his money, and he, like you say, he's uh, in the comments he said he's getting because uh, I follow him on TikTok, so he's getting uh, a ZX, uh, he's getting the, the 10R that 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 that. The fully leader bike boy uh, next month. So, uh, again, I'm glad everything's working out for him. But, again, everybody is going to go through 
these situations until they're educated. You know, this is why I'm making this kind of video, man, because some of y'all are going to go sign the paperwork on that Ninja 400 and you're probably going to enjoy that Ninja 400. But just know, you know, what you can get your, you, what you're getting yourself into for, you know, for that price, 15, 15, five, you can get you a nice, a nice a leader bike or, you know, a nice 600 for even lower than that. And I'm just being honest. You can get you a nice leader bike or a nice 600 for that price. But again, to all my beginner riders out there, to anybody that's new to the biking community, please be aware. And even experienced riders, they might, y'all might take some from this video. But um, uh, hopefully, I'll have some more uh, bike videos coming um, that I can get back on the bike soon. It's just, it's just been. I know some of y'all been coming. Rick, where's the Where's the Harley uh, content? Where's the Ninja 400 content? When are you going to get back on the bike? Uh, do you have any more uh, content coming on the electric uh, motorcycles where you don't need a license to ride those? Um, I cannot pull any of the bikes out of the garage right now until this weather gets back on track. It's been icy roads, freezing, raining, and it just the weather just got clear. Uh, but then it started back raining yesterday, so I'm just waiting. The temperature is back to 65, which is not that bad, but it's just been very, very wet outside. So we do not ride in those kind of uh, conditions, but I promise you guys, we will be back on the bikes very soon. Um, and we are bringing a, a ZX6R to the channel, and we are looking at an R6 and a Jixer uh, as well. So, shh. <laughs> We got some big things coming and the Ninja 400 is probably leaving the channel pretty soon. Um, I've enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying it. Um, I do plan on riding it a couple more times before I get rid of, get, getting rid of it. So just be on the lookout. But hey, comment down below how y'all feel about this $15,000 for a 400cc. Would you spend that money on this kind of bike? Have you, are, have you already been in this situation? Comment down below how you feel about it. But hey. I will catch and don't mind all the tabs open. I am a full time YouTuber <laughs> on multiple channels, my OK Rick channel and stuff like that. So do not mind all the tabs open. <laughs> do not. <laughs> but hey, I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. To all my riders out there, ride safe, stay safe, wear your gear. And I pray that everybody makes it back home to their loved ones at the end of the day, man. Life is short. Life is precious. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace.